Why are you chewing on my marker? <laughs> hey, welcome back. I'm going to hunt 20 rolls of nickels and see what I find. Hopefully something good. All right, I'll bring you back when I find something. All right, I'm going to bring you back in. I see I have a 1947. That is the uh, first find of the box. I do have some 60s up here that I'm going to take a look at, but 47, uh, that's a good find. I did find, let's see if I can get it to focus, this 1995 that has a, looks like a grease strike through on the five cents. It's almost not there. It's not in the greatest shape. It's it's pretty nice. I'm gonna set that aside as a uh, interesting find. All right, I'll bring you back in if I find something else. All right, I'm gonna bring you back in. I've got a old looking one here. Let's see what it is. I don't see a mint mark. It is a oh 1952. Uh, that's another that's another good find there. All right, we'll see if we find anything else here. This is uh, the third roll that I found these two in. So I'm three rolls in. So far, so good. Let's see what else. All right, welcome back. I'm on roll number five. Got one that looks like it's a little older here. Let's see what we got. 1968, yeah, another 60s, that's something. Oh, I'm going to keep looking here, see what else we find. Look, I opened the next roll and look what was in there. A kitty. All right, I'm on roll number seven. And this isn't really a fine, but I don't know if you can see it, but look how slick this coin is. Looks like it's been polished and sanded down flat. It looks like it's a 1974. That's what the date looks like. That is an interesting one. Looks like it's just been sanded or polished or what it, what have you until it was almost completely gone. So that up there is an odd find. All right, well, let's see if we find anything else. All right, we're back in on roll number 10. This one was facing the reverse. It looked pretty nice, but it is a 1958 out of Denver count that as a find so that's good that's all right so I'm working my way through roll number 15 and got my first foreign it is a Canadian 1984 Canadian nickel hey it's still worth five cents but I'll take it let's see what else we find hopefully find something else Keep finding the 64s. I usually stack up the ones from the 60s and go through them, but still only the three from the 50s earlier. Well, let's keep looking. I've got five rolls after this one left. Hopefully, there'll be something else good in some of those rolls. All right, I'm still on roll number five, and this one is a real nice, shiny 1964. I usually don't find them that nice. This one's out of Denver. I don't see any stairs, but it's still got good detail, good luster, nice and shiny. That's a that's definitely one I'm gonna set aside and probably hold on to. It's always nice to find older ones that look like that. Well, let's keep looking. Alright. 
We're back on uh, roll number 16 here. Um, this one looks a little rugged, but it is a 1948. It has definitely seen better days. Well, it looks like it's got some environmental damage there. So, I'll put it up here. Count it as a find, and we're going to keep looking. Alright, so bring it back in here. This is a 2011. I flipped it over. Let's see if we can get it focused. Do you see that chip? It's a large die chip on the edge. Yeah, it caught my eye because of how big it is. It is pretty big. I'm gonna set that one to the side. It's always fun to find die chips like that. I'll keep looking. This is roll number 18. Um, you got two rolls left. All right, I'm on the last roll, roll number 20. This one looks a little older. So I figured I'd uh, bring you in and we'd find out what it is together. Let's see what we have here. We have a 1940. It's the oldest find so far. It's out of Philly. That is nice. All right, I'm um, going to finish going through the rest of these and then bring it back for a wrap-up unless I find something else. All right, we're back in for the wrap-up. Got 58. Two 1952s, one out of San Francisco, one Philly, 1948, it's rough, 1947, 1940, the oldest, and we got the Canadian there. Um, did find one 1909 out of Philly, and then this one with the large tie chip on the side. Uh, pretty large die chip. Did find some other odds and ends and some that I'm going to uh, check against uh, what I have. I'm keeping collection, album, and stuff. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and have a good day.